Hey guys, welcome back to Animotion. In this tutorial today, I'm gonna show you how to do the echo effects on After Effects. This is a really cool yet quick and easy technique to do for your animation. I have my scene here already with some grid background and my text as well as color palette for your guide. You can download this project file and I've put the link in the description below. Here I'm using a text that I have converted to a shape layer. However, you can use this echo effect on any other objects such as text or even image. The first thing you want to do is to animate the position. So hit P on your keyboard and just move this layer around. Then I'm going to select the position and then hit F9 on your keyboard to easy ease. Next, you want to find echo on the effects and presets. Drop that into the layer. Now your text has turned to white. We do not want this. So change the echo operator here to composite in back. Now, if you move your playhead around, you'll see there's a repeat just behind the text. So if I zoom it in here and the repeat is basically just one repeat. That's because our number of echoes is only one. So we want to bump this number up to say 25. Now you have your echo. However, I want to change the echo operator again to composite in front so that the main text is at the front and the echoes are following at the back of the text. Another thing that I want to change is the echo times in seconds. So we want to keep this a minus number as to keep the echoes behind the main text. The higher the number, the bigger the gap between the echo. For example, if I change this to minus one, then the gap between the repeats or echoes is bigger, as you can see here. And obviously that is a bit too much, so I'm going to turn it down to minus 0 0.05. And I like the look of this. So you can always experiment with the numbers. You can also play around with the decay. It'll basically just change the opacity of the echo, making it look like it's decaying. I'm happy to leave it as one, but I'm just going to show you, for example, if I turn it down to 0 0.83 as you can see like the opacity of the echo is kind of like um, disappearing at the end but I'm just gonna leave it back to one now you have the echo already but I actually want to change the main text to be different color so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this layer so Control D on the keyboard and then I'm gonna name this front And the bottom one, I'm going to name this bottom. And then back to the front one, turn off the position keyframe, so hit P, and then turn it off here. And then parent this to the echo bottom. And then we want to delete the effect that's on the echo front. So just delete this echo. Now you just have to change the color of this echo front. So I'm going to change this to yellow and I'm gonna change the stroke to the spin color at the back yep now I'm gonna turn off my color palette because we don't need it anymore let's preview this I'm quite happy with the result thanks so much guys for watching I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions on what tutorial you want to see next, please leave it in the comment section below. Thank you!